Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends, get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. We are all welcome to the Daily Fountain uh, Divisional Guide of the Church of Nigeria and we uh, pray for Idea Church uh, for this wonderful opportunity. We pray that, uh, that um, uh, those that the Lord continue to use to write this um, devotional, the Lord will continue to bless and prosper and press the leadership of our church and great things the Lord will continue to do for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we are going to look at appreciating God's grace appreciating God's grace how to celebrate the grace of God upon your life I'm going to look at Luke chapter 1 39 to 55 Luke chapter 1 39 to 55 it's a celebration uh, scripture now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to the city of Judah and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greetings of Mary that the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why? Is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things we were told of her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For who, he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. And he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. We celebrate the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This is Christmas story. Hallelujah. I always enjoy Christmas story. When Angel Gabriel informed Mary about her case and also told her about the pregnancy of Elizabeth, who was now six months pregnant, at great age, she decided to go and visit Elizabeth for companionship. Now listen, at this time, Mary was very young. Elizabeth really she was already very old. For many reasons, she had uh, 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 Mary uh, had, uh, of course, uh, um, mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, was pregnant for our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, you know, uh, as a virgin. So, of course, apart from hearing from God and all that, and the comfort uh, of her husband at that time, Joseph, she needed to go to see a relative and, uh, that she could trust and pour her heart to. You know, that's one. I don't know if in a society today, even in our family, in the church, we have that relationship. Are there people in the church that your, the younger ones, when they are, they are challenged and they have issues, 
they have things that they cannot understand happening in their life, they can come to you and seek, you know, to share their burden and probably give them counsel. Do we have people like that in the church? Do we have people like in the church that when people are challenged or in circumstances that are very unusual and they want counsel, do you have elders who can listen and keep their secrets? Not only that, Mary may have gone also to help her relative who is elderly that is pregnant. You see, family is very important in the church. Family is very key in our church. We must be able to support one another. The support system in the church must grow more than ever before. In our moment of need, we must be there for one another. And this is what we have seen today between these two women. And when she got there, she stayed there for quite a while before returning to her husband. Do we have that support mechanism with us? As a church and as a people, we must install and sustain and grow such support mechanism. Now, when she got to Elizabeth, you know, the baby in the womb lived. The baby, uh, the, uh, the, you know, Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And Elizabeth said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me, and the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb. Blessed is she. Who believe, for there will be a fulfillment of those which were told of her from the Lord. Now, listen, and this is also, these women are, you know, fantastic women of, of, of God that we have a lot to learn from. Here was a woman hmm, honoring her younger one instead of being envious. But today, people will be envious. You know, but she was not envious. She gave honor and glorified God for the great thing that was happening in the life of Mary. Holy Spirit spoke through her. Do we, are we, do we put ourselves, make ourselves available to the Holy Spirit to speak to us, to be able to, you know, encourage people in their situations, in their blessings, celebrate their blessings with them, enjoy their blessings with them, Glorify God with your blessings with them. Do we do that? Do we share in people's joy? Or we become uh, envious and, uh, um, you know, and say, oh, you are, what, uh, what did you come around? Where are you coming from? Uh, do, you know? So, we want to pray. And we pray that the Lord will change his church to be this truly loving like this. Uh, two women of God in Jesus' name. Now, it's important here to note, Mary was not the only virgin in Israel. Why did God select her to be the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ? Why did the Lord God favor her? She manifested the quality that made her a standing and the ability because of the ability to recognize and appreciate God's grace. She had the ability, very unusual ability, to recognize and appreciate God's grace upon her life. You see it in the Magnificat. She received the blessings with humility. Praising God. My soul magnifies the Lord. And my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Giving all the glory to God. 
looking at where she's coming from, I lowly may servant that does not deserve these blessings. And yet God gave me these blessings. Is this how you react when God blesses you? Do you realize that it's just favor? Grace. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their heart. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. See the humility as it flows. You know, awesome, magnificent humility. You know, humility can be very magnificent. It's not... It's not inferiority complex. It's, you know, I rise to my great height and I see how in my greatest height I'm so small compared to the grace of God. Therefore, my mouth comes out in worship, you know, to this mighty God that has lifted me, you know, from the merry clay. And that's what we're, we're seeing in this beautiful magnificent. He has helped the servant Israel. You do see, you know, he has helped the servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our father Abraham and to his seed forever. Do you see how unselfish she is in this magnificent? She was sharing the glory with the whole country, with her people. She not say, only my blessing, only my blessings. How God threw this blessing on me Bless my people. Hmm. She glorified God for undeserved favor and mercy. She shared blessings with Israel. I want to ask, and this is very important that we begin to think. Many people we misconstrue God's grace and mercy as end instead of privilege. They believe that they have earned it instead of privilege. Oh, I prayed well. I prayed. I really prayed. There was, it was impossible God should have answered I me. Mean, when I quoted scriptures, when I went in tongues, all manner of prayers, man, if you were there, it was breaking, part breaking, you know, uh, prayer. There are people who did not even pray, who just said one word, Lord have mercy, and God answered. Or you will say, I fasted for days on end. I almost disappeared, and God had to answer me. I, I fasted, and my sacrifice called forth the blessings of God. Uh -huh. Is he everybody that fasted that has received the blessings? Uh -huh. You. And then you say, I worked very hard. Everybody knows that I really work hard. That's why I'm blessed. When they are telling you, oh, God has been very awesome to you. God has been very grateful to you. Oh, yes, you deserve it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, after you work, in the, you work so hard in the church and everything, you say, oh, that's true, that's true. I, yeah, well, I thank God. I know. Well, I, I, I like to work for God. There's nothing I can I like to work for God. Who told you it's your work? If people are saying the wrong thing. Tell them, we thank God for work, but God has been merciful to me, you know. Oh, I made so much sacrifice. Oh, in the morning, I stay in the church 24-7. I don't sleep, I work, I'm always in church, bringing money, bringing food, bringing everything to the church. You think that's why God loved you? Hmm? God has brought people from death, you know, from nowhere, from penury. And has lifted them up. Grace. Yeah, like you recognize grace, grace and appreciate unmerited favor. You didn't merit it in no way. It could have been anybody else. As Mary said, there were many virgins in Israel. But Mary said, me? How can it be me? You know, there's that virgin there who is uh, more beautiful. There's that virgin there who has more money. There's that virgin there from the rich home. There's that virgin there. But she must have thought in her mind also so. And then she found, why? She couldn't. And when she couldn't, she just busted out to glorify God. You are awesome. You are simply awesome. 
you know. So you look down, you say, oh, I'm very clean, you know, I'm clean. And you know, God does not deal in dirty uh, environment, but I'm clean. And God knows that, you know, when I'm clean, who told you? Who told you? Or you want to be a martyr. <laughs> Hallelujah. You work for God instead of enjoying this relationship. Ah, Martha said, Jesus, call Mary. Come and help me in the kitchen. We need to cook for you. Jesus told Martha, 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 Martha. You worry about all sorts of things. Eh? Mary is taking that which can never be taken away from her. The earlier you learn. There's a place for matter. That does not, the Lord is not saying that there's no place for matter. There's a place to do for God. But never forget. Your relationship in worship is number one. I want to, it's important for us to begin to examine ourselves. Let's begin to examine ourselves. Are we, you know, I, when you wake up in the morning, and then you, uh, especially when you're, you're no longer young, you know, for people who are matured, they know uh, 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 what I mean. And then when you are on the other side of uh, 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 60, and then you, you, you come back, when you come down from bed, you are told that you come down, you put your legs down, and you wait a little bit, you stand on your legs, and then when your legs carry you, you begin to move. Dear, you must begin to thank God for his mercy, for his grace. Because there are people who went to bed and they got down. And suddenly they try to stand and that leg, those legs could not carry them. Indeed, by the time they try to get up from bed, they try to lift their legs, their legs will not, could not, they will not be lifted. Or you wake up in the, in the morning and you look through the window and you see the beautiful sunshine. You open your eyes, you see the colors. And you're not grateful to God. There are people who went to bed. And suddenly they, they, they woke up and their eyes did not open. They could not see. The, they are blind forever. You know, and you're not thanking God. You think it's because I've been doing exercise. Oh, I've been taking my medication. Oh, I've been doing that. I've been doing that. It's a lie. It's the mercy of God. Oh, you wake up. And the students say, oh, I read my book. I read, I read, I read. I must, that's why I had to get that A. Mm. Mm. Suppose you had read your book and you read your book. The only little part you did not read was the one the examiner brought. Or you read your book, you read your book before you go to the examination hall, you fell down and you were sick, you could not go to the examination hall. It's grace. It's grace. It's grace. Thank God for all the mercies of God. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Celebrate the Lord for what he has done in your life. The Bible says that it's not of him that wills, not of him that runs, but of God that shows mercy. Let us humble ourselves in the face of our uplifting, recognized by his mercy, as God also follows other brethren. Let us also learn to identify with their joy. Thank God for his mercy. Bless God for blessing others. That's what we're told. We need to pray. For good news for those who are in need. The Lord, families that need good news, Lord, provide them good news today. Let them begin to have good news. I want to decree to families that are expecting good news, you will receive your good news now. By the reason of this meditation, you will receive your good news in the name of Jesus. We want to thank God for God's grace in your life and the election of God and your call and the election of God in your life and the call of God in your life. May the Lord bless that call in your life. May the Lord make you to have understanding of that call and may you give him all the thanks given. Lord, help us to recognize, oh God, in a moment of success, Knowing that every good gift comes from you. Ah, we pray for those who are in need of the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, your time has come. We pray for the pregnant women who are going to deliver. You will deliver like the Hebrew women. 
the Lord will shield and protect you. You are alive, the baby is alive, your husband is alive. In the name of Jesus. All the hands that will minister to you at the day, the day of delivery will be the hands of Jesus Christ. And you will have testimony. And all the support you need, the Lord will provide for you in the name of Jesus. We pray for the future of our children. Children are going to be born now. They will not be, Lord, you, the glory, you, you will bless them. Their tomorrow is assured in the name of Jesus. We speak to our nation. Our nation Nigeria, too much. There's too much, you know, death of, uh, at, uh, during childbirth. The statistics is very terrible and very bad. And we're saying today, let that statistics change. And let people deliver safely all over the nation. But by arise and bless us and bless our country. The glory of God is upon you. Celebrate Christ in everything that you do. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May his countenance of mercy and joy establish all of us in the land of the living. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you and have a great day. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.